or trouble. And when the generals start then fighting and brawling amongst themselves, I mean, the impact upon the morale of the forces simply continues to go downhill. Well, Colinette questions the credibility of retired generals, there are questions too about his claim that all current generals are on side. After all, it would be risky business for anyone still in uniform to come out publicly against their boss, John Boyle. Roger Smith, CTV News, Ottawa. Two more officers have been charged following the accidental death of Canadian soldier Neil McKinnon. The young corporal was shot during a live fire exercise in Alberta last year. Warrant officer Kirk Drew and Sergeant Wayne Campbell were responsible for safety. Both are charged with negligent performance of duty. Their superior, Major David Herter, was charged last week. Still to come in tonight's news, defusing a terrorist threat in Britain. London police shoot their way into an IRA bomb factory. Also ahead, David beats Goliath in a cable TV billing battle. You have one minute to decide the rest of your life. The critics have a hit on their hands. <laughs> Two days in the valley out pulps Pulp Fiction. What? You killed him, Frank. A five-star cast in a five-star movie. The funniest, sexiest, most dangerous comedy in a long time. It's this fall's Gotta Go See It movie. Really? MGM Pictures dares you to spend two days in the valley. Starts Friday. Time's up. Look, I invented something amazing. 2,000 flushes, blue plus bleach. Powerful blue detergent plus stain-fighting chlorine bleach. Two cleans in one for up to four months. 2,000 flushes, blue plus bleach. Two cleans in one. Thanks, William. You can park it out back. Yes, sir. Acura. Designed with purpose. Driven by passion. This is a court-ordered legal announcement. Persons who have ever had a surgical implant may be affected by the reorganization of the Dow Corning Corporation under American bankruptcy law and should call 1-800-997-1700 for information and a claim form. Even if you don't have a problem with your implant, to preserve your rights now and in the future, Canadian residents must file a claim to be received by February 14, 1997. Call toll-free 1-800-997-1700. I'll never go back to denture paste or powders. Here's why. Seabond Denture Adhesive. Two powerful adhesives in a soft, micro-thin seal bonds dentures to your gums can hold comfortably all day. No mess, easy to remove. You'll never go back. Seabond. It ignited a storm of consumer outrage, the practice of negative option billing by cable TV companies. But tonight, it's fading ever closer to black. The House of Commons passed a bill today banning the unpopular marketing technique. It forced consumers to pay for specialty TV services they hadn't ordered. But as CTV's Paula Newton reports, not everyone wants negative billing gone. I declare the motion carried. No doubt it was angry consumers swaying this vote. Negative option billing is one step closer to being outlawed, thanks largely to the efforts of a coalition of all party backbenchers. Uh, the backbench, I think, has decided that uh, this is an issue uh, which is pretty simple. It's about money, it's about power, and it's about who, who controls uh, Canadians' uh, disposable income. Early last year, enraged Canadians were angry enough to give up cable in protest. Yeah, we're giving it back now. We're finished with it. We don't want to watch TV anymore. Consumers were fed up with being automatically charged for new channels they didn't ask for. Their message sunk in. Most cable companies say they won't dare try it again. Not French language broadcasters, though. They say without negative option billing, they just won't get the viewers they need to survive. That argument was enough to win over some. Important issues related to, uh, to negative billing can be, uh, can be dealt with through the CRTC. Yet after the vote, the government's position was still unclear. Heritage Minister Sheila Cobb says she backs the bill in spite of opposition from officials in her own department who share the concerns about the viability of French channels. We also want to make sure that Canadians have access to uh, television in both the 
official languages across the country, and we think that that can be done. The bill now moves to the Senate, and French broadcasters say they'll press their argument there, hoping unelected senators will have the stomach to defy angry consumers. Paul Newton, CTV News, Ottawa. Convicted murderer Paul Bernardo has been ordered to undergo testing for AIDS and other sexually transmitted diseases. The order comes at the request of a woman who was raped by Bernardo in 1989. She is suing him for $10 million in damages. Bernardo is serving an indefinite term in Kingston Penitentiary for killing two Ontario teenagers. Overseas, British police say they foiled an imminent attack by the Irish Republican Army. In a series of raids this morning, police arrested five suspected IRA operatives, killed another in a shootout, and seized tons of explosives. Heather Leem of Sky News has the details. It was the culmination of weeks of surveillance that led armed police to this terrace house in West London. In the shootout that followed, one man was shot dead, leaving a trail of blood. It was just running and shouting we did hear a big bang and um then we see some policemen running and said get the paramedics simultaneous raids took place at another house in a nearby road and in west sussex as well as the dead man five suspects were detained it's now been revealed that one was a british airways engineer arrested at gatwick where he'd been working on airplanes Using a fertiliser company as a front, it was here at a storage unit in North London that the IRA had set up its bomb-making factory. The amount of explosives primed for use have suggested a vehicle bomb attack was imminent. I have no doubt that today's operation has frustrated an attempt by the provisional IRA to carry out significant and imminent attacks on the mainland with the possibility, indeed the probability, grave loss of life. As well as explosives and guns, a number of undercar booby traps were found designed for individual targets. What this latest incident does indicate, though, is that there appears to have been no let-up in the IRA's campaign of violence against targets on mainland Britain. Heather Lima, Sky News, Hammersmith. And briefly, in other news tonight, famed American cardiologist Dr. Michael DeBakey is in Moscow to assess whether Boris Yeltsin is strong enough for heart surgery. The communist opposition says Yeltsin should resign if he's too sick to govern. Crews from the shuttle Atlantis and Russian space station Mir said goodbye before their two crafts separated tonight. Atlantis is headed home with astronaut Shannon Lucid, who spent six months aboard Mir. And here is the first photo of newlyweds John F. Kennedy Jr. and his bride, Carolyn Bissett. They were secretly wed Saturday in a tiny church in Georgia. Coming up, Young Canada fights a bad rap on CTV Talk and cold shoulder for the at generation. Why do so many merchants offer young shoppers little more than snubs and suspicion? Hold it. This isn't you, it's an older guy. Oh, that was before I got rid of my gray hair with Just For Men hair color. Come on, that's too natural to be hair coloring. Just For Men. Apply and in five minutes rinse. Gray is blended away for a totally natural look. Think it'll work for me? In five minutes. Just For Men looks too natural to be hair coloring. And now try Just For Men color gel for the hard to color hair of mustaches and beards. Brush in, rinse out. Just five minutes. Help me sing my song. Help me sing my song. When your lovers once again take the bright side of the road. Introducing the all-new Toyota Camry. Take the bright side of the road. Yeah, 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 yeah. Check 6 News at 11.30. Are you worried about water quality? So are BC Health officials. Plus, how the Premier's changing ministries around to better protect children. Then a 10-car pileup on the Pat Bay Highway. Find out how it happened. Check 6 at 11.30. Well, they say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but I know what I like. And I sure like the new Quaker Fruit and Oatmeal Bars. Real fruit filling in a crust with real Quaker oats. And since we've discovered the new Quaker Fruit and Oatmeal Bars, well, the grandkids seem to like my stories a whole lot more. Grandpa, we like your stories, but can we have another bar, please? Well, sure you can. 
You see what I mean? New Quaker fruit and oatmeal bars. The goodness of Quaker in every bar. Don't make things like they used to. Whatever happened to quality? In my day, we cared about craftsmanship. How about service? Dave Lennox founded his heating and cooling company and what was important to customers. Those things will never go out of style. Trust me. And the Lennox quality dealer standards. Make sure you'll get those things from Lennox dealers today. Of course, you know what I really miss? Those little licorice drops you used to sell. Lennox, one last thing to worry about. It's a strike watch at Canada's number one automaker. Bargaining talks affecting 26,000 GM workers started this afternoon in Toronto. As at Chrysler Canada, where a deal was struck last week, the big snag is expected to be outsourcing. The Canadian Auto Workers Union has set a strike deadline of October 2nd. There was a heart-stopping rescue operation on a high-rise in downtown Toronto today. A window washer was left clinging to life six stories above ground. Emergency crews found the terrified man dangling from a safety rope after a cable supporting his platform suddenly snapped. But the drama didn't end there. The 28-year-old window cleaner slipped on his way down, almost smashing in an office window. A ladder was used to help him to the ground where he hugged his cleaning partner. He wasn't injured and said he'll continue window washing because he needs the money. They inject billions of dollars a year into the Canadian economy, yet many retailers treat them like little kids or worse. They are the at generation, as in the computer symbol. In their world, cyberspace is where it's at. In tonight's segment of CTV's ongoing series on the at generation, we go shopping with our hidden camera. As YTV's Wolf Dinnick reports, we find a new take on age discrimination. Every time Jeff Neal goes shopping, he feels left out. Basically, I guess teenagers get a bad rap. He says he gets bad service because of his age, and other young shoppers agree. I don't get as much attention as a normal customer were. I'm spoken to rudely and dealt with in an inconspicuous sort of, we don't want you here kind of manner. Just how rude? Well, we asked Jeff and an older shopper to hit some stores. We put a hidden camera in a bag, and our first stop was this stereo store. We asked both Frank and Jeff to shop for similar items beside each other, and we waited to see who gets help. Just one minute into our experiment, help comes, and it's our older shopper, Frank, who gets the attention, and Jeff is ignored. We counted five salespeople in this store, and Jeff seemed invisible. And five minutes into our experiment, Frank got to see the top-of-the-line stereos while Jeff was left browsing. The story was the same at this clothing store. In just minutes, Frank, our older shopper, got all the attention, and Jeff was left looking. And in a final bid to get attention, Jeff stood opposite the salesperson who had just helped Frank, and still, no luck. And it seemed the same at every store we hit. Our young shopper was ignored. Some of us come in, we have money, we work, we want to buy stuff. And we should be treated like this. Because I think we're going to shoplift, and it's just a complete generalization. Because most shoplifters aren't young. In Ontario, only one out of four convicted shoplifters are teens. As a group, teens in this country pump $6 billion a year into the economy. So with all that money, why was Jeff ignored? People that work in our store tend to deal with peers and look at peers. They tend to miss somebody like that that walks into the store that's young. So, it's probably not the young people that are most affected by this problem, but the businesses who are driving teenagers out of their stores. And it's those teenagers that could be very good customers. For At Generation, I'm YTV's Will Thinnick for CTV News. And the Ad Generation is speaking out about that attitude at our CTV Talk booths. Tonight, in our regular Monday segment of CTV Talk, we sample their comments gathered from various locations across the country. It's a snapshot of just how they feel about it. I don't like the way that teenagers are always put down for uh, just being teenagers. And I hate it when we, me and my friend here were walking to the store and all the people think we're going to steal stuff. Just because we're teenagers, we're all criminals, right? Everybody thinks just because we're teenagers or older kids that we are bad people and that we smoke and we do drugs and we do all this stuff. And I just like to tell you that we don't. 
The way we are treated is so disrespectful. Just because we're teens doesn't mean that we have to be treated unfairly. We think it's unfair that kids get treated differently than adults. Why should we have to respect them if they don't respect us? We are 14 years old and we come to the mall to actually shop. We are maybe younger, but we have money also and we're just like any other customer as far as I'm concerned. Hi, this is the parents out there. Yeah, we think that um, they should be a little less overprotective about their kids because we're really not that responsible. Yeah, kids should be able to dress how they want and um, listen to the kind of music they want or dye their hair whatever color they want. It doesn't make us bad people, it just makes us more unique. This portion of CTV News is brought to you by AT&T Canada. It's not about phones or faxes or the World Wide Web. They are just the tools for you to do what you want, be what you want, get what you want from life. Life. You get out of it what you put into it. Introducing AT&T Canada Long Distance Services. Without limits. When she charges anything, even a massage, on her GM visa, she earns 5% towards a new GM vehicle just by using her GM card. What's your car done for you lately? We've been here for 34 years. Hastings Appliances in Victoria is having an anniversary. 34 years? Wow! An anniversary you can't miss. That's conga. Enjoy great values on Frigidaire. Smooth top ranges for easy cleaning. Fridges with deep indoors. Frigidaire is joining in the fun all month long. Cooking with Frigidaire, everything comes out perfect. An anniversary event you can't miss. Everyone's welcome to our party. At Hastings Appliances, 2100 Douglas. Hi, I'm Dan Matheson. Certainly no denying the popularity of gangsta rap, but does it reflect reality? And does it inspire violence? We'll ask tomorrow on Canada AM. Autumn is turning into a foul season in many southern Ontario parks. It's all because a certain Canadian icon is refusing to heed the call of nature and head south like other snowbirds. The problem has city councils in quite a flap, so a gaggle of them have formed a task force in cahoots with several conservation and wildlife agencies to tackle the problem head on. CTV's Joy Malbin explains. Dawn. As the city wakes, battle plans are being made. The strategy, simple, a frontal assault. It's war on one of Canada's national symbols. There they are, there they are. Is they, get those suckers, yeah. They're goose chasers on patrol. John Hutton and his dogs were hired by Mississauga Council to stop these fowl from feasting on parkland. Grass may not look like good eats, but to a goose, it's a buffet. And what goes in, has to come out. If we have a thousand geese here uh, at any one given time, I've heard a little uh, sort of anecdote that, uh, that geese uh, actually do goose droppings about every 11 minutes. You do the arithmetic or take a look around. Well, there's a health hazard. There's poop all over the place. Kids can't play here anymore. The biggest problem is the people that are feeding them. Mm -hmm. They come bring down here with bags and bags of food. After all, who'd want to fly south when there's a free lunch all year round? 
uh, something new in the paper on TV, we tried it. Plastic owls and, and they sat on them. So the canine commandos were hired to go on a wild goose chase six days a week. Chick em, chick em. Hoping if the geese can't nosh here, they'll fly back south where they belong. Won't they just go to another park? Well, I wish you asked, didn't ask me that. We chased them from Burlington to Mississauga. But now I think they'll chase them to Toronto. <laughs> Animal rights groups say using trained dogs to chase geese from neighborhood to neighborhood may not be the most humane way to teach them how to migrate. Quite frankly, we have to learn to live with them as opposed to uh, chasing them, terrifying them. <laughs> Officials say if they can get the geese to fly away, they'll plant grass and bushes that aren't so tasty to eat. In the meantime, it's Kit the Watchdog who will keep the enemy at bay. Joy Melvin, CTV News, Port Credit. And that's a gander at some of the stories making news this Monday, September 23rd. Lloyd Robertson will be back tomorrow. For all of us here at CTV News, thanks for watching. Good night now. CTV News, Canada's most watched newscast.